What's up, y'all? <laughs> you had a um, somewhat unique uh, uh, how you got to the NBA. Um, it was unique. Um, can you talk about that in your internship with New Balance, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, my my path um, it definitely was yeah it definitely was unique. Um, you know, but I thought it was beneficial for me. Uh, being able to have that year off and just grow as a person, um, being able to mature and really learn what it was to be professional, especially working at New Balance, um, you know, a nine to five where I really had a schedule that started, you know, before nine o'clock, um, 7 a.m. basketball workouts, nine o'clock work, um, 12 o'clock lifting, um, you know, come back 2.30, work until five, basketball again at eight, um, and then, you know, just learn how to, you know, just um, – you know, living on my own as well, um, having to go grocery shopping and, and cooking and, like, manage my time, um, you know, really, like, taking care of my body because with that kind of schedule, it could get hectic, and it did. Um, but, you know, I, I learned along the way, and I think that helped me, um, you know, but, but New Balance was really good for me. Um, you know, again, that, that 9 to 5 and, and being professional and working with, you know, a lot of people older than me, um, learning to communicate and just – you know, I, again, like that was the biggest thing, just being professional. Um, and I think that, that helped me, you know, be who I am right now. Uh, what was draft night like for you? Uh, draft night was, was really good, especially when I found out I was um, coming here. But, um, you know, I had to get together, friends and family, um, rented out like a little venue spot. Um, you know, it was just, it was just watching the draft. Um, it was really crazy for me. Um, because, you know, just a couple months ago I was in high school. Um, and then, I'm sorry, not a couple months ago, but, you know, just a year ago I'm in high school. And then draft night, you know, hearing my name get called. Hey, Darius, you talked about while you were interning you had basketball work, so you were working on basketball. How how did you take what you got from there and apply it into real live action uh, whenever you didn't really have a team to play on yeah um so uh what we worked on like if, if it was like you know me coming off a ball screen um you know or, or just like you know getting a lot of shots up you know working on handling um a lot of times with the trainers like we would have you know other guys there so I could get a good look um to where we would be playing um so that's that's pretty much how I would see it. I mean, and then working out, you know, it is kind of tough sometimes if you're just working out every day to translate that over to a game if you're not, you know, really doing it consistently. But, I mean, that's pretty much how we got it, how we got it done. Hey, Darius. Brandon from DailyThunder.com. What's up? What's up? Yeah. Uh, so could you describe your relationship with Mike Miller and, and how he helped your game? Yeah. Um, I just talked to Mike yesterday, actually. Um, but, but me and Mike Miller, um, you know, uh, we got really close. I was staying with him, um, you know, and he was just helping me. Um, he helped my game, um, you know, with shooting, obviously giving me different shooting tips with him being, you know, a phenomenal shooter. But, um, you know, even, you know, off the court um, and just, like, helping me develop, you know, work ethic and not just going to the gym and being there for five hours, but, like, working on the right stuff. Um, you know, and just constantly, you know, um, you know, developing good habits, um, you know, eating wise and, you know, just kind of, you know, just showing me how he is like around his family and stuff like that. Like, I thought that was really cool um, to be able to see, like, not only how he was as a basketball player, but helped me as a player, but helped me as a person as well. Um, have you and Billy talked about what your role will be on the team? Uh, no, sir. Um, it's just been, you know, just working out um, and getting better, you know, individually and as a team every day. Uh, through social media, it seems like you and Chris Paul have a real good relationship, almost big brother, little brother. Uh, can you tell me about that relationship with Chris Paul? Yeah, um, so um, my agent connected us um, with them being close. Um, but, I mean, from day one, I mean, you know, Chris has been nothing but, you know, like you said, like that, that big brother to me, um, you know, on the court, helping me out, um, talking to me and talking to me through, you know, different situations. Um, to off the court, you know, going over to his house, you know, um, you know, just talking like playing cards and whatnot. Like it's been, it's been really cool. What 
what position do you see yourself in the NBA? Cause you, you have point forward skills, but you have yeah. the power forward height. Mm-hmm. How do you see yourself playing out in the NBA? Uh, with me being so versatile, I think I can do a lot of different things. But um, ultimately, you know, whatever coach asked me to do, um, you know, whatever the game plan is that night, you know, just to be able to go out there and execute it um, is probably, you know, just the main focus. Darius, at, at your size, your ball handling and passing has sort of jumped out, uh, just off the film I've watched. What has gone into that for you to develop those types of skills? And I guess why is, has that been such an important part of your development so far? Um, what went into me being able to you know, handle the ball and pass really well, well, me being tall um, and my ability to handle the ball, handle the ball I can see the floor um, pretty well, um, seeing over defenders. But... Um, you know, what went into it was just, you know, just handling the ball every day, um, you know, and, and, and pick up, you know, just like working out with guards. You know, like sometimes, you know, groups might get separated, like go work out with guards. Um, but I guess it kind of came natural with dribbling some um, for me. But, you know, there's always room to improve, you know, just tighten, tightening my handle. Um, you know, but I, I think that is a, a really big part of my game, especially with the game changing it, how it is nowadays being, um, you know, becoming positionless. And uh, me being so versatile. Howdy, Darius. Back here. Uh, so you've caused sort of a social media storm here with our fans. You know, they love what you're doing on the social media. So my question to you, do we refer to you as Chef Baisley or <laughs> Darius Baisley? Um, uh, that <laughs> – um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't – I don't – yeah. You can, you can call me Chef or, you know – Darius, but um, you know you should, you should, uh, you should try one of my dishes. I'm really, I'm, I'm a, I'm a really good cook. Yeah, what you just described with the internship was pretty eye-opening, and I wonder, when you agreed to do it, did you know what you were getting into, or was it actually quite a bit more than you figured, and maybe you surprised yourself with how you responded to it? I did not know what I was getting myself into. Um, I kind of had an idea, but not really. Um, you know, when we talked about it, um, you know, New Balance and when Rich, um, my agent, when he was explaining it, um, you know, he, he, he told him, like, you know, I don't want this to be a thing where, you know, he's treated differently because, you know, he is, you know, signed to you guys, your athlete. Like, I want it to be a thing where he really comes in every day. He has work. Um, you know, he's expected to get it done. Like, you know, treat him as if he was like an actual – you know, intern trying to, you know, get that job. Um, and so it was just that. So that was my little, you know, idea of it. But going into it, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, you know, and I was a little bit nervous on the first day just because I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Um, but it, I, it exceeded expectations. Um, and it definitely was a lot. You know, I didn't think that much went into it, um, especially for an intern. So I can only imagine how it is for, you know, HR or somebody like the head of marketing or apparel. Like I can only imagine how it is for them. Um, do you regret not playing organized basketball last year? No. Um, I'm happy with my outcome. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm with the Thunder. <laughs> O-H? I-O. <laughs> uh, as a fellow Ohioan, uh, Danielle Dwyer with Fox 25 Sports. Uh, growing up, having LeBron be the face of basketball in Ohio, just a kid from Akron, what's it like for you to know that you have the opportunity to put your hometown on the map as well in this league? Um, it's really good. Um, I mean, to have that opportunity and then to be able to grow up, you know, watching someone who has represented you know, his his city, his state, his country, you know, his family, like, so well. And then being in the same agency as that as that guy, like, it's been really good. Um, so to have that opportunity, you know, to put, you know, my city on the map, not that I don't think it already is, but, I mean, to represent it um, is really good. Thanks, Darius. Thank you.